Hello everyone, in this video we will see the simulation for maximum power transfer theorem using MATLAB Simulink and for that we will consider this circuit. This is the MATLAB window and at this position you can paste the location where you want to save your file. Then here is the Simulink tab, just click on it, create a blank model. Here is the library browser in the Simulink workspace. Just open it. Here you will find various libraries. Just go inside Simscape, then electrical. And we will be using most of the components which are present in this specialized power system library. So you can drag the components from this any of this library. Otherwise, you can double click here onto the workspace and search the name of the component. So let us start building the circuit diagram. Let us take DC voltage source which is present in this specialized power system library. Double click on it to change the amplitude of this DC voltage source. Let us take this as 50 voltage source. Then take series RLC branch. Double click on it and change here the branch type as resistive. Let us consider this resistance of 11 ohms. Then we will take a current measurement block. Now copy this series RLC branch which will be acting as a load in our case. Then take voltage measurement block. Connect it across this load. Now we want to find the power which is transferred to this load resistance. So for that we will be taking the product of the voltage across this load resistance and the current which is flowing through this load resistance. So for that take a product block. Connect the output of this voltage source and voltage measurement block and current measurement block to this product block. You can also give here the name to the signals by just double clicking. Now let us take a display block. So this product will give us the power. So let us rename this display block as power. Take one power guy block. So this block is required for simulation of these components. Let us save the Simulink model. Power transfer to this load resistance will be maximum when the value of this load resistance is equal to this equivalent resistance of this network. In this case, the value of equivalent resistance is 11 ohms. So let, let us first of all consider the value of load resistance as 5 ohms and check the power transfer to this load resistance. We will take the stop time as 1 second, save the changes and run the simulation. So as you can observe here the power transfer is almost 48.83 watts. Now we will take value of this load resistance equal to this equivalent resistance which is 11 ohms 
save all the changes and run the simulation so as you can observe here the power transferred has increased compared to the earlier case now we will take the value of this load resistance greater than the equivalent resistance of this circuit so let us consider this as 20 ohms save the changes and run the simulation again so as you can observe here this value of power transfer is lesser as compared to this second case so in this way we have seen this maximum power transfer theorem and also you can check the link in the description box regarding this course thank you